J-Man here, and it is five books to go through. I've gone through a few more if you're watching these videos in any kind of a sequence. Um, what are we going to talk about next? Let's talk about Marauders. Yes, let's talk about Marauders. There's Marauders number four with Storm on the cover. Um, I liked this one a little bit more than the last few. We've gone back, um, gone back to the boat, the Marauder, the ship. And um, there's Pyro with his dumbass tattoo. I really hated that idea. That was just stupid. Maybe they could kill Pyro and have him grow back and not have that tattoo on him. Basically, these kids um, are going to be extracted from the island. They don't. They, they want to leave. The assholes uh, don't want to let them leave. This is the typical mutant stuff that we've seen throughout you know time. One super positive is that Kitty has gone back to the costume, which I really liked, which was that I really liked this look with the ponytail. I don't. I like the the the, the nose thing, even though I'm, has her nose not healed yet. She could probably take it off the, with the red scarf. Much much better keeping her the classic outfit because she's she's the one of the only ones that has a link still to the original X Men costume. So I want I like that they keep that. She's with Bishop here, trying to be uh, trying to convince Bishop to become the Red Bishop, um, in the Hellfire Club or Hellfire Trading Company or whatever whatever it's called. Uh, good use of her powers in this one. Um, spoilers are in effect as always. Um, they're parachuting in her and Bishop, and she um, like parachutes through like a building with him. So that that was really nice. Um, I like the art here. I like the way Kitty is drawn. She is one of my favorite characters in general. Um, much better in this uh, uh, number four than she was in the previous one with that bitch line and all that fucking bullshit. Um, this is like classic, you know, more, more classic Kitty. Um, I always thought Kitty was a badass. She didn't have to pretend to be one or say a lot of the cool stuff or swear or whatever to, to make her a badass. I just thought that she was. Storyline here is pretty good. Um, if you remember, there was that, uh, that lady, I can't remember the character's name. Shoot. Um, it, it yeah. So she was saying, oh, my husband stepped, touched the, one of the Krakoan gates and then he got whisked away or whatever. And you know, I don't trust the mutants and everything like that. So come to find out that, you know, you know, spoilers, but, you know, come to find out that he's actually in, um, he's actually there. Like they've got him locked up and, um, he's part of this, it's like a cult or he, he, he worships the mutants as gods. So really interesting. I like how they're taking this idea that there's some people that hate the mutants, but there's some people that have come to worship them as gods, which I think could, you know, would happen in real life if that was the case. Um, after that, oh, right, these Death Strike women. There's like these lady Death Strike women that come and attack. That's pretty cool. Look at the holy shit. It's like, so they come and attack. Kitty kicks the crap out of them. Bishop and them fight. Kitty gets beat up a little bit. I think her nose gets broken again. <laughs> I love, the, I love this nose motif that she's going to have her nose broken every time. Um, I really like, I've already said this, but I really like the way Kitty looks here. Um, I'm loving the way that they're showing her powers. Really cool. Basically, it ends off with her addressing, going up to the woman and saying, oh, you know, your husband's still alive. Boom, here he is. And then there's like a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a cliffhanger saying, oh, she's going to come back or whatever. And then we see... Um, or I can't remember the character's name again, sorry. She um, she goes and she talks to, um, I guess, the Hellfire Club, which was run by the kids. I don't know if you guys remember this. This was in the uh, X-Books that got, that got canceled recently. Um, it's run by a bunch of kids or whatever, but it's not Hellfire Club. I don't know what they're called themselves. Does it say on here? Da -da 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 -da. I don't think it does say that. But she goes to them, so you're like, ooh, what's going to happen? So I, I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, Marauders started off being my absolute favorite of the new, of the new, uh, releases of the Dawn of X stuff. And it's kind of dropped like a bunch of tears now. It's probably my, you know, fifth favorite out of the six. So that's not saying much, but I've gotten over the initial, it was really the second book or issue two that kind of like took me off course because I didn't like what they did with kitty but they brought her they gave her normal costume back so i'm very happy about that so let's see if we can get past that and get better and better as we go so i'm definitely going to re continue reading it but uh that's it all right guys until next time